Is the DRDO preparing to dump the Kaveri engine days after approving flight tests? India might soon be partnering with global aerospace giants to create a game-changing sixth-generation jet engine. DRDO chief Samir V. Kamath has revealed a bold plan to collaborate with foreign manufacturers to achieve what seemed impossible until now. So could this be the turning point in India's aerospace ambitions? But what will it mean for the future of the Kaveri engine? Now, DRDO has long been at the forefront of technological innovation for India's military. But when it comes to jet engine technology, the road has been anything but smooth. The Kaveri engine, envisioned as the backbone for the Tejas light combat aircraft, has struggled for decades. Despite 40 years of development, it has only achieved a thrust of 72 kN, which is significantly short of the 82 to 90 kN minimum thrust required for world-class standards. Even as Kaveri engine gears up for its first flight tests, India continues to rely on foreign engines like General Electric's F-404 and F-414 to power its indigenous fighter jets like the LCA Tejas. This dependence highlights the urgent need for a new strategy. And DRDO chief Samir V. Kamath has made it clear the way forward lies in co-developing advanced aero engines with foreign original equipment manufacturers or OEMs rather than just buying engines off the shelf and risk supply chain delays. Now, developing a sixth generation aero engine isn't just a technical challenge, it's a financial challenge as well. Kamath estimates that India will need to invest a whopping 40,000 to 50,000 crore rupees to achieve this goal, and that's just the start. Currently, India spends only 5% of its defense budget on research and development, or R&D, a figure that Kamath believes needs to triple to at least 15%. So why is this investment so crucial? Because it's not just about making engines, it's about creating cutting-edge capabilities for future defense projects, including the much-anticipated Advanced Medial Combat Aircraft or AMCAP, and even further sixth-generation aircrafts. Now, India is now exploring partnerships with some of the biggest names in global aerospace industry, including General Electric. Now, GE has already signed a deal with India to manufacture F-414 engines for Tejas MK2 jets with around 80% technology transfer. However, the company is holding back on critical know-how, which could limit India's technological gains. Now, Safran of France, the French aerospace giant has offered a 100% technology transfer and is keen to collaborate on the AMCA project. This makes Safran a strong contender for India's future engine development projects. Rolls-Royce from the UK. Now, the British manufacturer has also expressed interest in the past in transferring jet engine technology to India, adding another option to India's arsenal. Each of these companies brings unique expertise to the table, and India's decision could shape the trajectory of its defence sector for decades to come. Now, here's the million-dollar question. Does this shift towards foreign collaboration mean the Kaveri engine is going to be scrapped? Well, surprisingly, no. While core development with foreign OEMs is seen as the best path forward immediately, the DRDO plans to use the knowledge gained from these collaborations to improve the Kaveri project even further. The goal is to bring it up to world-class standards, ensuring that India doesn't rely on any imports, but also builds its engines in the future. For instance, the AMCA MK1 will initially use the GE's F414 engine, but future versions aim to incorporate this indigenous engine developed through such international collaborations. But what do you think? Which foreign partner, GE, Safran or Rolls-Royce, would be the best fit for India's ambitious plans? Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to InConnect News.